Well, we might have to add another city to the MLB expansion pool list. We've got San Jose Mayors writing Rob Manfred asking for an end to the territorial rights to clear way for a potential expansion team. This coming out a few days ago, San Jose, the pitch would be that San Jose and Silicon Valley present a unique market opportunity for an expansion team or an existing club. Not only does San Jose eclipse San Francisco and most MLB cities in population and dwarfs Oakland, but the $410 billion annual GDP of San Jose metro region, better known as the heart of Silicon Valley, exceeds that of 30 U.S. states. San Jose and the South Bay present a team owner with an extraordinary opportunity to secure branding sponsorships from companies forming the highest concentration of leading tech employees on the planet such as Apple, Adobe, Facebook, Google, Cisco, LinkedIn, and others. So that is kind of the whole pitch to it. San Jose obviously does have a lot of money with where they're located, but a lot of Giants fans in that city, there would be a big overlap. And I don't think right now MLB wants to put another team in California based off of the Oakland situation. Although I guess you could say it's apples and oranges. The Giants were granted territorial rights to Santa Clara County back in 1990s. And the current mayors are trying to get that waived. When the A's tried to gain momentum for moving a team to San Jose, the Giants resisted and were backed by the MLB which ended up shooting down the proposal. And there's some renderings of the potential stadium if the A's were to move to San Jose, kind of a mid-2000s type rendering. Personally, to me, I do think this is a pretty big uh, nothing burger when it comes to MLB expansion. It's pretty clear. There's a few top options. You know, I, I do think there's a, a, a lack of a West Coast option right now when I look at expansion. I'm not really liking the Salt Lake City plan, and I'm really wondering how that would work out. Would there be a fan base that could support a team for 82 home games? The Portland situation has its own slew of mess. You know, they're looking for a new location now, I think. E either way, when it comes to expansion, could San Jose be that West Coast team? I think the best option for San Jose would have been just getting the A's to move there in a relocation type effort. The A's, you know, going to Las Vegas really dims the hopes for San Jose to get a team, but they at least can pitch. When you compare them to other cities, they definitely have a more uh, financial-based, uh, you know, pitch with all of the money that pours in to this area of California. The territorial rights that the Giants currently have, uh, it applies to no other region in MLB. It binds no other city in any other professional sports league in the nation. While we appreciate why San Jose is special, you can imagine why we find such special treatment unnecessary and unfair. So the mayor coming out saying, listen, you need to remove this because we're going to make a pitch to get an expansion team. So it seems like this would be the first step for San Jose in an expansion effort. They would get uh, the territorial rights removed, which would then enable them to create a stadium rendering and really get going once they get that removed on a potential team. Because right now they cannot even do that considering the Giants have the rights in that area. And there's, you know, right now, based on what happened back in 1990 when the A's tried moving there, the MLB siding with the Giants and saying no MLB team can move here. This is quote-unquote the Giants market, if you will. So that is, that's kind of the situation that's going on right now with San Jose. It's definitely something to monitor, uh, I would say. San Jose mayors blast MLB for excluding City. Uh, you know, if the mayors are really going this far, there has to be a, an underlying thing like they must really want a team. If, if they're going to go ahead and, and come out in public and, and write a letter to Rob Manfred saying you need to, you know, allow us to at least try and get an expansion team or a relocation team, I, I don't see any chance of a relocation team. The only team I can see relocating at this point, because the A's are already off the board, unless something crazy happens with Vegas, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Vegas thing is like vacuum sealed, 100% going to happen. 
The only other thing would be the Rays relocating, which I would say it's a 50-50 chance they end up relocating. A lot of people don't realize how bad the Rays' current situation is with their new proposed stadium being located right next to Tropicana Field. And all we hear over and over and over again with Rays fans is they complain about the location, location, location. They're pitching the new stadium right next to the old stadium. It makes no sense. That proposal is not going to happen. It's the dumbest thing ever. So when I see stuff like that, that gets me wondering on on, on a team like the Rays possibly meet, moving, even though they are a really good team, it, it, it kind of, it's like a mirror image of the Oakland situation. It's been 15 years. They've had 30 different renderings on new stadiums. Nothing ever has happened. So it's like, at some point, the rubber's going to have to meet the road with the Rays, but I don't see any scenario where the Rays move to San Jose. I think that the overlap is the issue, right, with the fans. You know, if you have a lot of Giants fans in, in that market, it, it's going to be an issue. Are you really growing the game at that point You can flex your GDP, we understand it, but is that really good for baseball and and for MLB? Uh, That is to be determined. And then also, could you fill up a stadium, you know, in California? You know, the Giants have been kind of weird. They had that attendance streak going where it was like, you know, 500 straight games they sold out. Those attendance streaks normally end up becoming gimmicks to where, they're really not even sellouts, but because, you know, they want to keep the streak going, they just say, oh, it's a sellout. Uh, but then recently, the Giants, you know, they, they, they really have kind of struggled with attendance, it feels like, j- based on their standards, not in general, but it, it's been kind of down over there. So, you know, we'll have to see, you know, you already have the Dodgers, the Angels, would they put another team in California? I mean, the state, you know, does have a massive population. They are experiencing a population decline, but it's it's not to the degree where it would affect, you know, anything crazy. Uh, at least I don't think it is yet. So San Jose making a pitch, telling Rob Manfred, listen, we want an expansion team. We can't even, you know, have the ability right, to, right now to pitch a team because of this issue with the Giants owning you know, the territorial rights in this area, we want it removed. MLB is going to have to make a decision on this. Even if they do remove it, it's not going to guarantee San Jose or an expansion team or anything like that. You know, it's a massive process, but I do think San Jose probably looks at the other options. If the MLB wants to go one East Coast expansion team, one West Coast expansion team to balance it, you know, there's definitely a slot that you can kind of slide in and really pitch yourself I mean, we're not talking about really big hitters when it comes to West Coast baseball right now for expansion. You know, Salt Lake City and Portland, maybe if you want to say Montreal as the West Coast team, even in Canada, you know, you could definitely make a pitch based on your GDP, but I I just don't know how much of that is a baseball pitch. And then it comes, a lot of this expansion stuff to me is going to come down to the funding. If there's someone out there that wants to privately fund an entire stadium, they'll probably get the expansion team as long as the city is viable enough. Let's be honest. I mean, because we always get so many of these issues with funding and the owners don't want to pay for anything. And it's always like a 50, 50, it's pulling teeth, You know, none of the public wants to pay, especially at this point with inflation. So I think with expansion and I think with expansion and and one of the things that I've wondered with Nashville, you know, getting this $2.2 billion stadium, part of it's publicly funded. Can they even afford an MLB stadium? I know they're the favorite by far to get an expansion team, but it's like they need a guardian angel billionaire to come in and bail them out and, and privately fund everything. And these billionaires, if they really, you know, want to have a team, you should have a group of other billionaires or other rich people pool your money together and privately fund every stadium. At the, or at like, like 90% of it needs to be privately funded, I would say at this point. Of course, that's not going to happen. The Jaguars uh, for the, the NFL, th- that thing's going to get really ugly. Th- they're asking for a billion dollars of public money for a renovation Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Jacksonville, but when it comes to the MLB, we'll have to see what happens with San Jose. It it seems like a massive long shot, but they're just another another city you can add to your list when it comes to potential expansion teams. But they do need, uh, you know, several things to happen for them even to have a chance at an expansion uh, team. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.